I do this because I'm so appalled at the situation and I'm terrified of what's to come in terms of the climate and ecological emergency that's going on. But if I think about it too much, I'm completely frozen. Um, so my inspiration is to just try and do something to protect the planet. Um, but if I think about it too much, I just break down and cry. So there's a balance there. Um, a lot of it comes from my faith as well. Um, as a Christian, I believe that we've got a responsibility to protect the earth and God's creation, and we haven't been doing that. Um, and it makes me feel quite angry that for years we were told, it's okay as long as you recycle and turn off the lights and turn off the tap when you're brushing your teeth, like that will be enough, um, and that's not enough. And so I feel a huge sense of personal responsibility for the damage that I've done. I've recently opened this zero waste shop. Um, it's all about saving the planet, but also supporting the homeless locally. Um, just trying to do a bit of good in the world. XR is, for me, more about big change. So I went to a talk in March, and that's when I realised what was actually happening and the truth of the situation and realising that actually recycling and zero waste lifestyle and personal decisions wasn't enough um, and actually government and business needed to make huge changes um, because as much as people try and do this stuff and take personal responsibility it's just not going to solve the problem. Um, so for me it's about having both sides of it come together somewhere. So there's like the big changes that are needed and then the personal small changes on a household level and somehow we need to manage both of those. It's not just about the government and it's not just about people taking responsibility, it's both. For me XR is about demanding change um, at the larger government level. Um, you know, a lot of customers have come in the shop and say, oh this is great, this is going to make it so much easier um, to make better choices for the planet. And actually that's the problem is it's really hard because the laws and the systems in place don't make it easy for people to avoid excess plastic packaging or fossil fuels or any of that damaging. The shop actually started as a way to support the homeless. I wanted to launch a business that would raise money to support the homeless locally. But when I realised quite how bad the situation was in March, I thought, well, let's tie it all together. Um, so the shop now has two purposes. So one is to make environmental choices more accessible for people. Um, so I've tried to really lower the selling price of things in the shop to make it affordable. Um, but then all the profits from the shop will support the homeless. So it's sort of tackling two birds, one stone. I wanted to go to London. I really wanted to join in. I went in April and it was just amazing. Um, but we were sort of advised that one person from each group should kind of stay home, do back office support. Um, make sure everybody in London had what they needed and make sure those being arrested were tracked, we knew where they were, we could contact their next of kin, um, make them feel supported the whole way through. And actually being here, seeing nine of my friends, really close friends now actually, Exile's a bit like a family, um, being arrested and having to call their next of kin and having to speak to them while they were in custody, it was horrible. <laughs> Um, because you knew what they were giving up for something we believed in so passionately. And it, it was just seeing people who never been arrested before, never done this kind of thing before. I'm the most inspired by the younger people, um, particularly opening up this shop, the school children who are coming in and going, oh great, you know, this is something I'm really passionate about. And they haven't had a voice in terms of voting for governments and they don't sit on the boards of big businesses, but actually it is something that's important to them. And um, that's who I'm doing it for, really. They can see the problem so clearly.